So what if you wanted to find the area bound by a curve in the x-axis, but you didn't know what the curve looked like? Uh, you'd be in a bit of trouble. Um, uh, you can still do it, uh, it just takes a little bit of thinking. So let's try a question. This one's a real beauty, uh, I really like this. All right, so it says differentiate log base e x squared minus one, hence find an antiderivative of this, then find the area between the curve, that, the x-axis, that, and that, give your answer correct to two decimal places. So super complicated, um, let's work through it. So it's one of those like um, integration by recognition style questions. So first step is gonna be differentiating uh, this thing. So uh, if y equals ln x squared minus one, then y dash equals uh, the derivative of that, 2x over uh, the function, x squared minus one. So. If we know that, then we can say that the integral of 2x over x squared minus 1 is equal to ln x squared minus 1 um, plus c. All right, I should have a little uh, with respect to x there. Okay, so let's see. Find the area between the graph of x over x squared. Oh, sorry. Hence, find an antiderivative of x over x squared minus 1. So this is 2x over x squared minus 1. So I'm going to have to halve that, um, which means that 1 half integral 2x over x squared minus 1 uh, with respect to x equals um, 1 half uh, ln x squared minus one plus, and then we're dividing that c by a half, so it's just gonna be like some other c value. Okay, uh, we're really done here. We're just saying now that the integral of x over x squared minus one uh, with respect to x is equal to half ln x squared minus one uh, plus some c value. So we've done that now. now why do we have to do all of this? Because we don't know what um, the graph of x over x squared minus one looks like, and we didn't have a good way of integrating it. Um, now we're trying to find the area between the graph of that, the x-axis, two and three. Now, because I don't know what that looks like, some options are, maybe it's just all above the curve between two and three. Maybe, it, maybe it's all below the curve between two and three. Maybe, and this would be like a pretty rough option, maybe between two and three, it's like got an x-intercept. So we need to check the x-intercepts because if it does have an x-intercept, if we integrate between two and three, those areas might end up canceling each other out. And we don't want that. So we need to find out where, where the x-intercepts are. So find the x-intercept. Let y equal zero. So uh, zero equals x over x squared minus one. Now, uh, another way to write that would be uh, zero equals x times x squared minus one to the negative one. Um, now, there's no way, we, we can sort of use null factor law here. x squared minus one to the negative one there's no way to raise something to a power and get an answer of zero. So this can't be uh, where we find an x-intercept. That means this is the only place we're gonna find an x-intercept, which means that x equals zero. Because if that's zero, zero times all of that will end up equal zero. So there's only one x-intercept, it's at x equals zero, which means that we don't have that nightmare scenario where there's an area there and an area there that we have to deal with. But it does still mean that maybe the graph's above the curve and maybe the graph's below the curve. We don't know. So we have to use absolute values. So if I want to find the area between the curve, I can say that it's the integral between three and two of x over x squared minus one with respect to x, um, absolute value because that way I'm, I'm not having to deal with above or below the curve anymore. All right, so uh, I'm not gonna do all of this. I'm just gonna do the next step. That means that I'm finding the 
um, the area between, and this is why we had to do this step here. Half ln x squared minus one, because that was the integral of, of that uh, between three and two. Okay, now you know what to do from here. Sub three into that, subtract the substitution of two into that, and that'll give you your answer. Um, you should probably just pause the video and find out if you can do it. The answer will eventually be half ln eight on three. And that's the ball game.